Hey, it's Karen. Today, I'm going to show you how I use my iPad as an engineering student. I'm actually majoring in computer science, but at my university, it's in the School of Engineering. Anyways, if you like these kinds of videos, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. I recently got the second generation 11 inch iPad Pro, which is probably how all of you found my channel. So thanks to all the new subscribers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it in the cards because it's almost at 1 million views, which is completely insane. Anyways, I also use the second generation Apple Pencil. So to start off, I have this school folder with a couple different apps that I honestly don't really use and could probably delete. Um, so if we want to talk about the apps I actually use, we'll start with Google Drive. I use Google Drive to keep backups of my note pages and homework assignments. Sometimes it's also helpful to reference old note pages or assignments that I've worked on in previous semesters, so Google Drive is where I keep that. And I also use it so that I can switch between working on assignments on my desktop and iPad. In previous semesters, I've used the Kindle app for textbooks, but lately I've just been finding PDF versions and reading textbooks on Notability. Next up is Notion, which I use as a digital planner to keep track of assignment due dates. There's really so much that you can do with Notion and I highly recommend you check it out. I'll probably make a whole nother video on it. Up next, we have Blackboard. This is the app for my university where I can check my grades, look at different assignments and lecture slides that professors have posted, and it's also where I generally get my assignments and export them to Notability. Honestly, this video should be called How I Use Notability because I use it a lot, like a lot. So when I first open up Notability, you can see the classes I'm currently taking and I have them color coded. And I have a few of my previously taken courses. I use a divider for each class and then within the dividers, I have a few subjects depending on how the class is formatted. So some might have notes, some might have textbooks, and some will have assignments. It just depends on the class. But before I get too deep into my classes, I want to talk about my planner. Digital planning is something very new to me. I just started using Notability as a digital planner this semester, and so far I'm really liking it. I drew out this template on Notability and then duplicated the page a couple of times. So it's not a linked planner or anything, it's just very basic with a weekly and monthly page. At the beginning of each week, I like to make a plan for my entire week ahead. That way I know on which days I'm supposed to be working on what assignments. The template I created is just black and white, so each week I'll pick an accent color and use the highlighters to make it a little more fun. The top section of my planner template is where I put any quizzes, homework assignments, or exams that are due that day. In the middle section is where I put my daily to-do list, and at the bottom section I have a this week and next week section where I put any significant due dates and events. So it's just Monday, but this is what my planner looks like. I like to have everything written out for most of the week just so I can stay on top of things. I also have a monthly calendar, but I honestly don't really use that very often. I just stick to my weekly planner. Let's talk about lecture notes. I don't have one set in stone system. My notes really vary depending on the class that I'm taking. On some of my more fast-paced classes, I really don't take neat notes versus if I have a easier, slower-paced class like my statistics class, I'm able to take kind of aesthetic notes during the lectures with no problem. I also think it's really helpful to take notes on my iPad for classes that aren't particularly intense or exciting. That way, I force myself to actively listen and pay attention to lectures. This semester, I've really only taken decent notes for two of my classes, but in previous semesters, I've been super extra with my notes and really taken the time to create good notes that would be helpful for referencing at a later time. 
but it's time consuming and a lot of times unrealistic. So this semester has been a lot of taking pretty ugly side notes on PowerPoint slides like this. And sometimes I take really ugly notes that won't help me in the future and I'm just hanging on for dear life. For example, if this wasn't in a specific subject on notability, then I probably wouldn't even know what class it's for. Even though I'm a computer science major, I still have a ton of written homework. And since I'm in the School of Engineering, it's pretty math heavy. So using the iPad for these kinds of assignments is particularly helpful. When I have a class that I'm not super excited about, the iPad is really the only thing that gets me through it. For me, it's a way to make homework seem a little less tedious. Comment down below what your least favorite class is that you've ever taken. Mine is probably every English class, but discrete math is a close second. Also, comment down below what you're majoring in or what you're planning on studying. I'm super curious. Here's a few more of my completed assignments so you can see what they typically look like. I use my iPad for more than just math classes though. In several of my computer science classes, I've had written assignments where I have to draw visual representations of data structures and work through, graphically, steps of an algorithm. Being able to copy-paste with these kinds of assignments has saved me tons of time, and it looks super clean. I've had lots of assignments like this for my data structures class this semester. Doing an assignment like this on paper would take forever and probably look super messy. So for me, getting the iPad was totally worth the investment, especially considering I probably spent more time doing written assignments than actual coding projects this semester. I also use Notability for textbooks. A few of my professors have provided links to our textbooks. I export them as a PDF to Notability by chapter. I prefer using Notability over the browser just because it loads a lot faster and I can annotate them. Highlighting in Notability makes it easy to find important sections. Plus, you can bookmark pages for future use. I like to make a note or bookmark a page when I find a code sample that I think will be helpful in a project or assignment. Reading my textbooks in Notability is where a lot of my screen time comes from. And that's all I have for this video. If you made it till the end, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel.